Hello everyone, in this video, we will explore a new field recently added to our plugin, section or group field. Additionally, we will also discuss the differences between this field and the repeater field. You can check out this video to get more information about the repeater field. So let's get down to business. Group field is an element that allows you to group a set of fields together, which can then be conditionally shown based on the user's input. It is perfect for creating more interactive and responsive forms, where certain fields will show up upon users' choices or inputs. Let's look at the settings it has. To the group name, enter the text that will be displayed as the title of the group. Tick the checkbox if you want to show the name of the group element in the calculator. Make this group collapsible. By enabling this, you will allow your users to reveal or hide the group of fields. Show this group based on condition. It will make the group hidden by default. If it's enabled, hidden by default option in the elements which are inside of the group will disappear. Ok, just use dragging and dropping to add elements to the group. You can even add a formula field to the group field which is not available in the repeater field. In addition, there is a tiny rule that you need to follow. You cannot add a repeater field or uh, other group fields to the group field. The biggest benefit of the group field is about using a lot of fields under one condition. According to our statistics, our users mainly use hide and show actions in their calculators. So, let's look at this case. I have a nearly complete trip registration form calculator. What I need is that these fields should be visible only if the user enables the option participate in competition. Technically, I can do it by enabling setting hidden by default in elements preferences and applying conditions to all of them one by one. But, as you see, it takes so much time. So, alternatively, I can use the help of the group fields. I will just create a group called Team Details and enable this setting Show this group based on condition. Eventually, the last thing that I need to do is just to create one condition. I will show the team details if user enables the toggle. I think now you understand what a group field is actually. So, when it comes to comparing it with the repeater field, the common thing is that both fields are grouping fields. but in the repeater field you cannot use the conditions, and its main job is to repeat the elements inside of it. On the other hand, the section or group field can be used with conditions and it will not do any dynamic job except hiding itself until it is needed. I hope you will enjoy the new element. If you liked the video, support us by putting your thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with amazing news. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.